Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review for the Relic Ball and Season 22 Ball. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content. You can get the best guides on the market by becoming a patron. Link to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy is in the description down below. Let's start directly with taking a look at the Relic Ball. It's a wind resistance 3 side spin 1. Power 5, very lovely design, I must say, I really enjoy, you know, gold <laughs> overall. So, but looking at the stats in itself, this is, you know, most especially a ball for long par 5s, like where we do have a crosswind, might have a headwind, and we do need to go with overpower. Like, if we do have a tailwind, then we're often going to try to carry as far as possible, and then the relic ball is not going to be the ball to do so, then we do have the berserk or a snow globe or something in the same area there. But the relic ball long par 5, which means that this ball here is not really uh, a, a, a ball that we generally use. Looking at, at the ball in terms of giving it um, a grade between 1 to 10, I would give this one a 3. And the reason I give this one a 3 is due to the fact that I, you know, I'm looking at the ball as an all-around ball or like an all-round ball. That's kind of what most of us players are using. We can use it in tournament and tour play, but this ball is, I would say, like purely tournament and, most, and mostly like a few times an expert and also then in master so the people playing with this ball is not gonna be that many we do have the season 22 ball and then we do have win three side spin two power four this is a really good ball it, i give this one a seven and the reason i give it a seven and not like a nine and that's because we do have side spin two so power, wind resistance, side spin, it has everything that could be good in tournaments. It could be good in tour play. And, you know, especially as a good grinding ball, it is a very nice ball. Also, the shape is nice, so you don't have to have any problems with that. And also the needle speed that we're going to come to in just a bit is also very good. So a 7 out of 10 on a season 22, 3 out of 10 of the Relic Ball. Let me know what you think about it because you might have a different opinion than I. So let me know in the comment section below. So let's take a look at the needle speed. We start with the Relic Ball and this is not that bad, I would say, when it comes to the needle speed. And, you know, it's, it's not good, but it's not bad either. Season 22 Ball um, is way better though, in my opinion. Like, it does maybe not seem like that, but it does feel that when you play with it, that the needle speed with the Season 22 is awesome, and that's going to be really, really helpful. Also speaks towards more of an all-round ball, which is a very valuable. You cannot buy uh, one of them for itself. You need, uh, like, the there is only bundles with them, and I know some people don't like it, some people love it. But, you know, you do have, you know, the, you get both. For the same price that you normally pay them so in the end let me know what you think about these uh, two balls the relic ball and the season 22 ball and thank you so much for watching this ball review and in the end good luck in your golf clash game